the flip side of things for Justin Herbert, he can kind of either join Joe Burrow into the postseason or join Tua Tonga Bailoa just short of that. What do you think is at stake here for Justin Herbert? A, a defining moment potentially for him here. Yeah, I mean, it's an opportunity to get into the biggest stage of them all and, and get into the postseason. And this is a team that we've seen when, when they put it all together, can compete with anybody, you know, including uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. So, yeah, I mean, look, it, I think Justin Herbert's going to be fine. He's been fine all year for the most part, especially in the second half of the year when they took the training wheels off and started getting more guys going vertical with more regularity. The question is, can they stop anybody on defense? I mean, anytime they play somebody who can run the ball even a little bit, you can put them down for 185 to 250 yards on the ground. That's not going to cut it in the postseason, and that might not cut it against the Raiders team, who I believe are 11-3 and all time when Josh Jacobs carries the ball 20 times or more. So, um, that's more where my focus is going to be on that one. Which one of these teams shows up in the trenches? I mentioned the Raiders' deficiencies on the offensive line. The Raiders are by no means a great defense, but they've got bookend tackle, uh, uh, bookend defensive ends who can get home and, and rip your tackles apart. And the Chargers, are they going to play with, with, with some bite and, and with some verve on defense? Because if they're passive, they could be in trouble. Chargers laying three in Vegas Sunday night. Let's Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.